Hey guys, welcome! Welcome to this video. This is a bit of an odd video. Uh, since my last video, I've actually gotten a couple of questions about the UI I was using. It's actually the Duxa UI. And um, I know somebody was having an issue trying to get it going. Uh, some of you guys probably already have it, know how to do it. So what I thought I would do since uh, I had a couple of people uh, not know how to uh, install it and get it going, I thought I'd do a quick video showing how I got the, the Duxa UI uh, running on a system. So hopefully it'll, it'll help you out. It's not too bad, but you know, it, hopefully like I said, this will help you out. So anyway, this is a, a brand new character I made. I'm new, level one. So uh, basically what we're going to do is uh, we're going to log off the computer. <laughs> off the computer, oh my gosh, this is a terrible start anyway. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to log out, and I will take you to uh, the website where I got it from. Hold on one second. Okay, so when, basically, if you Google Duxa UI, um, you come up to the forums, and it'll have this page here, uh, this Duxa all-in-one installer tool. If you scroll down, you have uh, three locations. I think the middle one doesn't work, but I just click on location one. And you, uh, you install the uh, Duxa all-in-one installer here. And uh, basically what you can do is you can open it up. And uh, yeah, you run it here. I'm not going to fully run it, but basically uh, you hit next. It tells you the fixes and things that it will do. It does have some good fixes here. I only did the recommended, uh, I think actually later I did a couple of issues, uh, like to fix the multi-core. It gave me a new shortcut on desktop, which I'll actually show you uh, briefly, as well as the uh, helmet visor fix for the male uh, humans. It's it's where you can actually see the eyes. And you know, it's got a couple other things that you can do to uh, to help out. So yeah, you just hit next. Uh, you know, you read all the stuff, uh, got it, next. And then uh, you, you want to point to your directory where your EQ directory is. So let me get that real fast. Right, okay. So, sorry, I just, <laughs> I don't want to just blur anything out. But, um, yeah, so I got my, uh, my EverQuest here folder. So I hit OK. And then I hit next. And it says program will run and the install Duxa UI. You hit start. Now I'm not going to go through all of this, but basically it takes you to this here and it just asks you a series of questions. And um, basically you go through it all and you answer all the questions. I'm not going to do it because I've already done, done it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. But you, like I said, go through all this and um, answer the questions and we will uh, go from there. So anyway, one second. Now that I'm closing out that, I'll pull up the next part of the uh, video. Okay, now if I uh, try to log back in on the game, you see I'm on the green server here. After I pretty much tried to run the installer, uh, it should pull up where uh, it won't actually run the game, right? It'll uh, say, well, we'll find out here in a second. I'll show you. I've done this before. That's why I'm, I know what it's going to do. So see, it says your spells are outdated. So it's not letting us get into the game. So what we need to do is we actually need to go here and re-download the latest uh, patch files. This would be, at this point in time, version 57. So that's we're going to go ahead and exit out of this and download these files which I'll go ahead and click download. As you see, I've already downloaded them before. And then we're going to uh, unzip them and install them into our EverQuest folder. So be right back. Okay, so now I have uh, unzipped the folder and I've put all these files in a folder, the NAQ folder here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take all these files and I'm going to paste them on the uh, my game files, my Sony EverQuest game files. I'm just going to paste it right here. Boom. 
it will ask to replace files. You know, you basically you've done all this stuff before when you went to get a uh, EverQuest to run it again. So now that that's done, we'll go ahead and reload up the game. All right, we're going to load up the green server now. Give it just a moment. And it should show our characters. So like I said, uh, one of the things I think kind of gets tripped up is when you run the Duxa UI, you have to, I think the important thing is you need to reapply. And here we go. I am new. See, we have our characters. Let's go ahead and enter the world. But you need to reapply the updated patch game files for it to run. All right. And, and now we should be in the game. There we go. So everything looks the same, even though we've run the Duxa UI uh, install and everything. So how do you pull it up? Well, that's simple. So you hold down Alt and hit O to pull up your options. You go here, load UI skin. You click that and you click Duxa UI, load skin, give it a second and boom. There you go. We now have our lovely Duxa UI. And there you have it. Uh, I hope this video did help out. Um, I'm not very computer savvy. So uh, that's pretty much as far as my, my knowledge goes. But like I said, I hope this helps out. And uh, if you give Duxa UI, I think you'll like it. Anyway, take care and I will speak to y'all in the next video. Bye now.